Y nos vamos con la esquina roja. Desde Armenia, fincado en Denia, del Trainit Unidenia, con 22 combates en K1, donde se proclamó campeón de la Comunidad Valenciana, campeón de España 2014-2015, con 10 combates en MMA, 7 victorias y un nulo. Ante nosotros, o el hombre que tiene una de las mejores proyecciones de toda España, recibamos a Mr. Gebor, la Pantera Gerboyán. Ladies and gentlemen, Red Corner fight representing Armenia, Gibor Sarxian. And there you see Gevor Sargsyan of Armenia. Pro record of seven wins, two losses, and one draw. Had two amateur fights in 2015, actually against one of the fighters in the previous fight. One was a win and one was a draw, so he's familiar with Spain, he's familiar with Spanish fighters, and I'm sure he's familiar with Campos who he's got an experience advantage over, but he's lacking eight centimeters in size and six years in age. So two fighters quite different on statistics. Ladies and gentlemen, Gevor Sarxian, Armenia. Y en la esquina azul, desde Valencia, del club Adoptín, con cuatro peleas, una de ellas en Preston, Reino Unido, peleador con una gran progresión y un clinch muy fuerte, todo un especialista del Brown and Paul, Diego, la bienvenida al gran Adrián Campo Espósito. Ladies and gentlemen, his opponent fighter representing Spain, Blue Corner, Adrian Campos. I don't know what you heard about me, but if this thing get the dollar out of me, you better let no words you can't see. Then I'm a motherfucking PR in free. And here comes Adrian Campos of Spain. Made his professional debut earlier this year. It was a victory by unanimous decision. He's also one and one as an amateur and has only been fighting for under, under two years. So still a newcomer. And what is really interests me is that he's already 28 years old just made his professional debut this year so doesn't have a whole lot of amateur experience either so it's a little bit late to be getting into the fight game at you know 25 26 years old but he looks like he's in great shape looks like he's ready for this matchup and we'll find what he's find out what he's made of here momentarily Ladies and gentlemen, fighting for the red corner, 22 years old, official height 170 centimeters, official weight 84 kilograms, his official fight record, seven wins, lost only two fights, fighter representing Armenia, Gibo! Sarxia! Fighting! For the blue corner, 28 years old, official height 178 centimeters, official weight 84 kilograms. His official fight record three wins, lost only one fight. Fighter representing Spain. Give it up your hands, Adrian Campo. Regretted in the last round, MMA rules, three rounds, five minutes each. This one made at 84 kilos as Gevor Sarxian of Armenia set to lock it up with 
Adrian Campos of Spain. And we are underway. Five minutes on the clock here, although we may not need it with the way these two are starting off here. You can see Campos there pressing him up. No, nice turn there by Sargsyan. Sargsyan over the top now with those right hands. Trying to prevent the takedown here. It looks to me like Campos is just trying to pick him up. Yeah, there he goes and slams him right down to the ground. Look like he's about to pick him up for almost like a like a body slam that you see in pro wrestling. And awkwardly they crawl out to center ring here and let's see how they get restarted. And they're back underway. Sagasian turns his back. Campos now in the amateur wrestling style. Maneuver grabs, grabs him around the, looking for another slam here. Can't get the big guy up though, I'll tell you what. Sargsyan has a very heavy, low center of, of uh, balance. He has a very low base and it's hard to pick that guy up. And again, Campos trying to sneak the arm under the leg, into the crotch, and pick this guy up. But it, that's going to take a tremendous amount of strength to be able to do that. As he now gets his man positioned there into the red corner, looking for a leg now, more of a traditional double leg takedown. Tries to sweep it out now, comes back up with one leg. Two minutes gone by here in this opening round. Well, it wasn't pretty but he got what he wanted he got the man down on the ground let's see what he can do from here again Sarg Sion trying to control the arms of Campos to prevent things like that from happening left leg goes over Big knee on cork there momentarily by Campos. Back up against the ropes now. Sargsyan. Sneaky little right hands going in there. Both guys, I don't know if they're just very cautious in there or, or, or what it is, but it, I just get the feeling that neither guy really able to to commit to anything fully yet. I don't know if they're both nervous or if they're maybe a little bit unsure what to do, but there's just not a whole lot of fluid kind of fighting in there. These are also two guys that are, they look to be very thick, very muscular, hard knee there goes in on the inside. Claims it was low. I didn't get a, a good look at it. From where I saw from my angle, it looked like it did hit the midsection, but that thing could have come up right between the legs. Let's see if we can get another look at it here or not. Well, evidently that thing did connect pretty solidly. You can tell from the body language of Sargsyan. Ooh, wow, it's hard to tell, as I said, exactly where that shot landed, but Pretty square on the button, if you ask me. And we're back to action here. Waist lock here from Sargsyan. Forces him into a neutral corner now. Now unloading with knees of his own. Well, those knees he's throwing are pretty close to the groin as well. Nice back heel trip there that time. Floats over, though. And it's Campos now right back on top. Looking for a choke from the front. Circles around to the back now. Left hand's going in. K-1 
Campos now riding him on top from behind. You can see that Sargsyan has got his right hand trapped. And that's what's delaying the offense here. Referee looking underneath. Well, some right hands again going in. Sarkisian's got to be careful here. This is a very dangerous position to be in. Again, he wraps up the right hand. Campos at this point. Still has got a waist lock on here. Has yet to really get into a position to do any serious ground and pound or any deliver any serious strikes from this position. Nor has he really been able to sink in a choke. I can't tell where his arms are now. He's given up on the choke. And now, Time. right hand's going in. Let's take another look at it. Awkward is the best word I can use to describe what's happening right now. Both guys, I don't know if they're the most skilled athletes in there or not. I don't know if they, they don't really have the kind of training, at least the way I'm seeing it. I don't mean that to be disrespectful. It's just, that's just what I've seen so far. Neither one of these guys have really been able to capitalize on any position that they've really had thus far, the entire first round. Round two action here between Adrian Campos and Gevor Sargsyan. Sargsyan has underhooks in. Campos turning, gets caught with a knee. from behind now. I don't know how many times he's been in this position now. That's got to be at least the third time. Now he's finally got some offense going. But again, Sargsyan trying to prevent that by tying up the right hand. And while he is certainly limiting the offensive strikes, which will not only lessen the amount of damage he's going to take, but also what the cards are going to look like. But nevertheless, still with a big waist lock from behind, is Adrian Campos turns out of harm's way but he's not out of the woods yet still got a leg now he comes up at the back once again Campos did make his pro debut for mixed fight events the local promoter here in Spain in September of 2018 so still a novice in MMA and just seems a little bit lost on what to do almost all the time inside the ring there. <laughs> Down they go and finally Sargsyan with an offensive advantage here as he's inside the half guard of Campos. Let's see what he can do from this top position. Trying to pass, but at the same time, Campos was just a little bit quicker and managed to get all the way up to his feet. A big knee, though. A big knee goes into the head, and I think that finally, finally has lit a spark between these two, and down they go. And just when we saw things really starting to heat up 
inside the ring here. Referee once again bringing them back in the center ring. Back up to a vertical base, both guys. Left underhook, tries to go for a throw, but Campos puts the brakes on. Minute 40 remaining in round number two. Sargsyan trying to get a little bit of distance on the inside so he can throw that knee. Campos fires one back now. Dropping down. Looking for the takedown. Back down they go here now. Campos, when he's on top in these places, he's got to be able to find a way to be able to capitalize from this position. This, this is what guys work for sometimes the whole fight, just to get in a position like this. He's had this top position at least five or six times, whether it's from... He, whether his opponent was on his back or on his chest or whatever it was. Whoa, did he wind up with that one? Didn't get all of it, though. As Sargsyan, again, turning his back. And now Campos, I believe, in his own corner here. And so he's able to hear the advice of his coaches. And maybe now he can get on the right track. You know, he's got his hooks in here. He's stretching them out. And now he's trying to get the arm in position for the choke. This is the closest he's come so far to be able to finish the fight. And he's got it in. He's got the choke in. And there's the tap. It's over. Now, Sargsyan has no right to get up in his face like that either. Well, this thing was just a mess from start to finish, folks. A big, hot mess. Let's take another look at this tap out situation if we can get a replay of it because I guarantee you I was it was it happened right in front of my face it was right there when I saw it as soon as he gave up his back he tapped out and then he got mad that the fight was ended because he tapped out well that's what happens when you tap out they end the fight so you better think very carefully before you start moving that hand